Today, we're gonna fill up nine jars with nine common types of pipes used in your plumbing system and see over time what they do to your pipes. Have you ever wondered what these chemicals will actually do to your pipes? My thought is that the metal pipes, they're gonna be greatly affected. But the plastic pipes, even the rubber, well, probably not so much. I mean, think about it. The bottle that it comes in is actually plastic. So I'm really thinking the plastic pipes probably aren't gonna be affected at all. But we're gonna jump in here and do this and have fun, so let's see what happens. We're gonna take the Drano and we're going to fill up each jar. We're gonna go try to go half inch to an inch above the top of it. Guys, as you notice, I've got safety glasses on, I've got gloves on, and we're in a very controlled environment. If y'all have seen any of the videos we've done with drain cleaners before, we have had to get rid of shirts. Uh, we literally had my arm covered in blisters. So whatever you do, be very careful with these. Great on tough hair clogs, guaranteed or it's free. Yeah, we tried that one too. Let's get our money back. Just saying, wouldn't you? Money please, my money. All right, so guys, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put all these lids back on. Guys, please be very careful if you ever do use any chemicals like this. I really do, I want y'all to understand these chemicals are dangerous. And if you put them in a sink, make sure your children know, make sure it's something you keep your pets away from. If you do call a plumber, anybody, please make sure you let them know. I think this one here's already falling apart. No, I'm joking. Guys, here's the deal. We're gonna let this set 30, 60, and 90 days, come back to you and show you what it actually does. If there's a problem, or if they're not, it's already talking to me. Anyway, see you in a minute. Now it's been six months since we did this. So I'm really interested in seeing some of these, I can tell you right now by looking at them, it doesn't look like it really did anything. This didn't even take the paint off the pipe. So what I'm gonna do is reach into the magic drawer and get my extra long needle nose because I'm really trying to keep my hands as far away from this as possible. Make sure you stay around to the end because man, I gotta tell you right here on the back row, I got one that the most popular pipe installed in plumbing is in here, and you're gonna wanna see what it did to it. It ain't good. All right, so let's start right here in the very front. Now what I'm gonna do first, I'm literally gonna open up the jar. I'm gonna stand back when I do it. There we go, breaks the seal. It's almost like moonshine. All right, so I'm gonna grab it, and it is, yeah, it's funky. All right, but I'm gonna stick it in here and rinse it off. And guys, you see, I do have my safety glasses on. I should probably be smart and have a whole face shield on, but I'm going to be extremely careful with this today. And like I said, look, it didn't even take the name off. So PVC, it really doesn't look like it bothered it very much. Now I'm gonna rinse it off, it still feels a little slimy. I'm not gonna touch this with my bare hands, just cause I know there's still gonna be some chemical residue on there. But I mean, it does not look like it did anything at all to PVC. Yeah, it's, guys, it's not soft. I mean, it didn't really do anything. So for PVC, I'm gonna say, I know, plumbers are gonna get pissed off about this. If you got PVC, you may be okay. Now we're gonna do this with another drain cleaner too, because one of the last drain cleaners we used, man, it completely dissolved hair. So I'd really love to do this whole thing again with that drain cleaner, just to see what it does to some of this pipe. But let's jump into the next one. Now, this one is poly. We're gonna do the same thing on it. We're gonna open it up gently. And this one's kind of floating, so it's gonna be fun to, ah, oh, there we go. Again, same way, I can smell the chemical drain cleaner. Get it rinsed off really, really good. Get it over here and dry. 
Uh, again, man, it's the same. I don't see that it's worn it down at all, that it's diluted it, it's not soft, it's not moving around. So, poly pop here. All right, so I'm gonna get all this put over here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and be safe and put the lid back on. I mean, we have made mistakes here before and knocked stuff over, so I'm just, you know, just gonna throw that out there. Okay, now next we got copper. And the reason that we did copper is a lot of times people may have drain arms or things like that that are copper in their wall. So, ooh, that one, that was ready. If I was making moonshine, I'd be saying, yeah, let's, let's take a sip and see how good it is. All right, again, the copper, man, it does not look bad at all. You, know, you can even see, <coughs> if you look close enough, you can even see like some scratches that were probably on here beforehand. So it doesn't look like it did anything at all to the copper pipe. Yeah, you can see scratches that are on here. God, you can even see some of the lettering from the manufacturing. So it took the paint off of it, but as for the copper pipe, I really don't think it did anything. So from a plumber's point of view so far, if you've got PVC, poly, copper, anything like that, right now it's not looking too bad. Okay, now this is galvanized. Now, a lot of homes in Texas used to have galvanized drains on them, meaning there'd be galvanized coming over, going into a horizontal tap T or something like that. I'm gonna get this rinsed off really, really good. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a galvanized nipple shine so bright. But, man, that doesn't look too bad. It does not look like it wore anything. Inside, outside, anything at all. So I don't see any problem here on the galvanized. All right, now this is a black nipple. You can tell there's a lot of stuff sitting in the bottom of this. So it did do something. Ooh, got a little, my jar farted. And if I took a wire brush of this, it would clean it up and look really, really good. I don't see any problem with the steel, other than the fact that I've still got crud in it, but I'm, I'd be willing to bet, and I may have to go back and look at the six month old video, this may have been kind of rusty when we put it in, and that rust may have just kind of moved down and settled. Now right here, we've got chrome pipe. Oh, again, I got a little jar fart. Chrome pipe, for those of y'all that don't know, is literally brass pipe, real thin wall, that has been coated. I actually think they electroplate it. Man, and I gotta tell you, it, it looks pretty, and I'm looking at a scratch line right here, which is probably where we had the tubing cutters on it to cut it. So that tells you there, it really didn't do anything at all to the chrome, but man, it should have make it pretty and shiny. I don't see that it did anything bad to the brass tubing that's been chrome plated. Actually, like I said, may have cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, now this is just corrugated plastic tubing. Now, we got this off of a dishwasher hose and you may be saying, well, Roger, that is never gonna get any kind of a drain cleaner in it. Well, it could. And I say that because if your drain is clogged, it's liable to push your dirty dishwashing water back up through the hose. So we're gonna stick it over here and guys, it, it doesn't feel like it did a lot to it. So, not a problem here. Now, I know you want that one, I know, I see. Okay, now, and I know you're not gonna believe it. This is the black rubber hose. God, I want to say something. I know. Okay, so this is the black rubber hose, and I got to tell you, it, it did a little bit to it. It did a couple of things to it. Number one, man, this rubber hose is really soft now. And 
if you look in here, the hose is actually trying to, it looks like, I'm gonna say separate, but it may not be. It may just be that's where the reinforcement cloth is, but it looks like I could, it looks like I might be able to try to peel it apart. This is pretty interesting. And I'm looking at it close and it looks like it's there's stress cracks in it. So again, guys, why am I using this? Because, well, no, you shouldn't have your water lines running through it, but a lot of people may have this coming off their dishwasher. Old school plumber, we used to buy black rubber hose, keep it on the truck. That's what we'd use to come off the garbage disposal and go to the dishwasher. So if under your kitchen sink, you look at your garbage disposal, and this is attached to your garbage disposal, you wanna remember as you put liquid drain cleaners, and man, this stuff, look, I can, I can actually peel it open a little bit. With regular black rubber hose, you can't do that. But normally you can't see the cracks or anything like that. So I would say be careful because if you look under your cabinet and you've got black rubber hose under there and you're putting a liquid drain cleaner in there, you may be making that hose weak and that could cause the leaks that are gonna cause problems. All right, now this is the big daddy. This is what everybody hung around for, guys. This is cast iron pot. Now this is under most houses in the United States. This is what the drains are made of. Now, I know a lot of you young plumbers say, all we ever put in is PVC. Well, go old school. Go look at some old houses. Man, this is what was there. So I'm gonna, ooh, yeah, my pop farted. Okay. It wasn't much, and, and it's already loose. And look here, I, I've already got stuff in the lid. Now, I didn't shake it up or anything, and it feels kind of funky. Smells kind of funky, too. This doesn't smell like just like drain cleaner. All right, now, if you look at the outside of it, it's, it's like... Yeah, stuff's coming off of it. All right. Okay, so all the coating that was on the inside of the pipe looks like it's been about removed. And I don't remember what that's called, but they, they take this cast iron pipe and they coat the inside and they coat the outside to help keep it from rusting. And this is pretty much just eliminated that. Uh, and it softened it up enough, I can literally just scrape it off. Yeah, I can, as you see, whatever the coating is on the inside of the pipe has turned to like this jelly, gel, yucky stuff. Now, I don't wanna mess with a whole lot because I don't wanna poke no holes in my pretty green gloves here. But, but, but look guys, the, the outside of this, and it looks like rust. And guys, this was brand new pipe. So we, we, we took this little section of brand new cast iron pipe and the coating. And what this coating, as far as to keep any water or anything from the pipe, that way it doesn't rust. So what we're looking at is the inside of this thing is now nasty uh, with, with all this coating loose and going everywhere. Guys, here's the deal. Cast iron pipe is designed in a way to carry water for a reason. And part of that coating on the inside is to protect the pipe from the water so it doesn't rust, rot, and corrode. And this liquid drain cleaner literally did that. Now, I know you're thinking, Roger, I'm not just gonna pour it in there and let it set six months. Well, you don't know that. If you've got a belly in your pipe and, and it caught, creates a soft clog, and you pour liquid drain cleaner down in there and it goes down to it, that's gonna sit there. It's heavier than water. It's gonna sit there longer. And that's where I think now, from looking at this, that's what causes channel rot. People pour liquid drain cleaner and it runs along the bottom and it's heavier than water so it stays forever and that rots out the bottom of your cast iron pipe. I don't know, call me a genius if you want to, but I mean, I think that that's what's doing it. So guys, number one, if you're a plumber, what do you think? I'd love to get your opinion just based on, on, on what I've showed you here. That's nothing but iron on the inside of that cast iron pipe. If it's not coated, water can get directly to it and cause it to rust. 
So love to hear what you have to say as a homeowner, as a plumber, as a DIYer who just happens to be watching this video. Did I do good or did I do bad? If you liked this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and share it with anybody you know that owns a home. If you love this video, I definitely think you're gonna like this one.